think about this Cuban water? Well, from a military point of view, we're in no trouble. We have tankers and contingency plans, and we can keep up our water supply for some time. From a political point of view, I think it's dynamite. I was just sitting here talking to Clark Clifford, who was over with us on some other problems, and I think we all agree that it has great potential domestic uh, effects associated with it. I talked to Dean Rusk a few minutes ago about it. He's, he's got state working on the political aspect of it. Max Taylor has already started putting into effect our own contingency plans to ensure maintenance of supplies to the base. Well, what are our alternatives? Uh, I guess we could. Uh, you, you've got a you've got a water supply program where you can supply them without uh, any great difficulty. Yes, yeah, that is correct. Now, I guess there'll be great demands if we uh, if we declare war, go after them. <laughs> I mean, the, the rabble rousers start hollering, and I guess that. Uh, we could probably go to blockade or some kind, couldn't we? That'd be our best pressure. Well, we could, but I, I doubt very much that that, that would be the first uh, act, Mr. President. It oh, no, to me, I'm, and I haven't. I'm not talking about the first one, but I'm talking about the, the alternatives. What we what we could do, short of the. the well, it, it seemed to me the first thing we should do is check up on the details of these plans. We have Admiral Davis, who's presently doing that, so we know exactly how much water we can get in there and how long we can we can uh, last with it. If it is as I believe it is, that we can hold out indefinitely, then I think as soon as this news is made public, we ought to immediately put out our statement that we that it's an inconvenience, but, uh, but uh, we have other ways of supplying water to the base, and it'll, it'll uh, not affect our military deployment in any way whatsoever. That'll give state a little time to figure out how to put some pressure on Cuba.